Notice he's using the weight shift in the body to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and chip one on the next one now. Extra acceleration. Beautiful. Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm here again with Walt checking in. <laughs> we check in every now and again and Walt You've been having some success lately on the golf course with a couple of really good scores. Can you tell us what you've been shooting? I shot an 83 and 84. 83 and an 84. And when you started with, we started together, you were 105, yeah. 110. Yeah. So 83 and an 84, you're playing some really good golf. Now, is there any one area of the game that you would say that is mostly causing these this well, run of good the, scores? It's chipping and putting. Have you ever... Uh, hit a chip that went three feet in front of you? Yes, or, or 30 feet over the green. Or 30 feet over, or 30 yards over the green. Okay, so we've been working on a couple of basic ideas that have really helped here, and you're gonna see this upgraded technique is really looking good, leading to some, some short one putt opportunities, and you've been making uh, more one putts more lately, putts lately, more yeah. one putts lately. Okay, so the two things we've been working on here have been low point control, not bottoming out behind the ball, so low point control. And number two, we've been working on acceleration. So most people out there who struggle have, a, have an issue with these two ideas. So number one, let's show them the way you used to chip, which would be long backswing, short follow through, stick it in the ground. Remember, yeah. stick, it, stick it in the ground and hit behind it, just like that. So, this covers a lot of people out there. A lot of people out there, they take too big of a backswing and then too small of a follow through. And they don't use their body and their chest enough to get the low point in front of the ball. So what Walt and I have finally f kind of formulated, which might be really, really helpful to the average guy out there struggling with their chips, we kind of formulated this over-exaggerated practice swing. So we end up with the swing that is short to long with an absolute ton of, of exaggerated acceleration, almost like he's striking a match. Notice he's using the weight shift in the body to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and chip one on the next one now. Extra acceleration, beautiful. We have, we have not set this up for the camera. Uh, we've got a one footer, a three-footer and a three-footer from all the way across the green. We're looking at about, I don't know, a 60 to 70 foot chip, I would say. And he's knocking them right here. Do you think you could make two out of these three, maybe? Yeah, two out, probably make two out of three. <laughs> two out of three. Yeah. Okay, so we have a really, really close one-putt opportunities. And it's all based on due to controlling these two things and doing it with a practice swing that is hyper-exaggerated in those two categories. <laughs> Good. One more. Extra, extra acceleration. There we go. Wow. That's right. Okay, Walt, I have total faith. Practice swing with extra acceleration. Too big of a backswing. Go, that's right. Same thing, right up over the camera. Perfect. Repeat. Fantastic. No, too big and not enough acceleration. Not enough acceleration. That's right. Strike the match. Not enough acceleration. Nicely done. All right, so Walt, just one more time. Show us the exaggerated practice swing. And remember how it feels really exaggerated to you. Like, yeah. remember we did an exercise one time, one day, where I said, Walt, I want you to make practice swings that felt like you were gonna hit the ball over the green. Right. And that was really the big breakthrough because as it turns out, he was decelerating so much compared to his practice swing that it was just, fooling him right. into having the right amount of acceleration, which felt like he was going to take it back here. And then I said, go ahead and hit it over the green. Of course, it never happened. No. But that's what a lot of people have to feel like. Now, 
keep in mind, we're gonna watch him do it one more time, but keep in mind, the acceleration isn't by pulling on the arms. The acceleration is going to be happening by the shifting of weight and the turning of the belly and the chest around the corner that kind of automatically, that heave of the body kind of automatically builds the acceleration in. Would you show them a couple more of the exaggerated practice swings, please? Short, exaggerate. Now, doesn't that swing feel like you're going to hit it right over the green? Right. Okay. Yeah. But we figure it out, the swing that's going to work when he goes to the real ball. Okay, now one more. Accelerate, ah, nice and brisk, like striking a match, and go. Perfect, nice and high, and running by about five feet is all. Another good one putt opportunity there. Okay, so good checking in with you again. I, I'm, I know uh, there's a lot of Walt fans out there that are, are anxious to, to keep up with you. You're gonna have to start your, we're gonna have to start your own uh, page or your own channel or something and keep up with everybody, but you're doing really good, hitting it longer and straighter, more consistently than ever, and now pairing it up with some really good chips and pitches that are causing um, more three-putt avoidance right. and not having to chip more than once a hole a lot now, like you used to have to chip two, three times on some holes right. just to get it on the green. So huge effect on scoring. What had been high, a lot of high 80s and low to mid 90s is now starting to be even some low to mid 80s quite a bit. So keep that in mind, accelerate, control the low point. I think you're gonna drop your score too. You wanna say the line, Walt? As usual, we will either see you in the next Thanks video you. or we'll Thanks see you longer straight, longer straight down, down the, the fairway. fairway. Everybody take good care. That's Thanks, good. Walt. Thanks, Steve. <laughs>